Over 16 million Americans suffer from major depressive disorder. A third of patients do not respond to two or more medications, and the likelihood of response or remission declines with each subsequent treatment. Patients who have not responded to medications may benefit from alternate modes of therapy, like transcranial magnetic stimulation, or TMS. TMS has been cleared by the FDA for treatment of depression since 2008. TMS stimulation uses targeted electromagnetic fields to specific areas of the brain to treat major depressive disorder. TMS has demonstrated consistent response and remission rates with one in two patients responding to treatment and one in three achieving remission of depression symptoms. The TMS system consists of a mobile console, the treatment coil, and a display. The integrated treatment coil is the magnetic coil that delivers TMS therapy to the desired brain region. Several different areas of the brain regulate mood, and TMS specifically targets these areas. Neuroimaging studies of healthy and depressed patients have shown different patterns of metabolic activity. The regions of the brain involved in mood regulation are connected through neural pathways. These neuronal circuits communicate by releasing neurotransmitters. In depressed patients, neurotransmitters become depleted or dysfunctional, and communication between mood regions is disrupted. Increasing the amount of neurotransmitters using medications is an established approach to treating depression. TMS uses a targeted electromagnet to produce a pattern of pulsed magnetic fields. This causes the release of neurotransmitters. TMS also activates deeper brain regions, energizing them, all without causing unwanted systemic side effects. A typical course of TMS therapy consists of daily treatment five days a week for four to six weeks. Each treatment session lasts 20 to 40 minutes. No anesthesia or sedation is required. The patient is awake and listening to music, watching a movie, or talking to people. Prior to starting TMS, the physician will conduct a thorough assessment, which will involve the patient completing a number of questionnaires and determining if they meet the criteria of non-response or intolerability to medications. The office will then obtain prior approval from insurance. At the first treatment session, the physician will start by using the treatment to perform a test to identify the patient's motor threshold for TMS therapy. The motor threshold is the amount of magnetic field strength that results in a visible movement of the patient's right thumb. This identifies the magnetic field strength that will be used in treatment. When the physician or TMS treater begins the TMS therapy session, the device will deliver rapid pulses of the magnetic field to the patient. This may feel like tapping on the scalp. Patients are awake and alert during the session and may return to normal activities immediately following treatment. Treatment response is usually seen by week three or four of treatment. There may also be maintenance sessions done after the initial treatment period. The patient and their doctor will make a determination of whether to continue their antidepressant. TMS is not electroconvulsive or shock therapy. Patients receiving TMS are not under anesthesia, nor do they experience memory deficits. Thousands of patients have been treated with TMS across the world, and it's not associated with any long-term side effects. Patients receiving TMS also do not experience the systemic side effects associated with antidepressants. The most common side effect was transient pain or discomfort near the treatment area. Seizures are also a very rare side effect of TMS. TMS is covered by most insurances. We are committed to your well-being and recovery. If you have any questions about depression or TMS, please talk to your doctor about it.